Welcome back. This is another exciting episode of Mr. Takeda Teaches Algebra. I'm your host, Mr. Takeda, and I'm going to teach you some algebra right now. This is lesson 7.7 .7 called Factoring Special Products. Essentially, this is the flip side of when we did the special case shortcuts for multiplying binomials um, a couple lessons ago. So first of all, we have to recognize special products and factor them. We're going to do difference of squares and perfect square trinomials. Okay, so let's get started. First, the difference of square patterns. Well, what is the difference of square patterns? Well, it's when we have a square minus a square. And we saw that earlier when we multiplied the sum and the difference pattern. This is the sum and this is the difference. When we multiplied this, we had this shortcut that would end up to be the difference of squares. So now when we start with uh, when we start with a difference of square such as x squared minus 9 this is a square it has an even exponent so it's going to be a square minus always subtraction and then this perfect square number hopefully you know your square numbers x squared minus 9 so what's that going to equal we take the first uh, we take the square root of the first term and add it to the square root of the second value I, I know that word term is kind of uh, ambiguous sometimes, and then the square root my, uh, of the first minus the square root of the second. That's it. Square root, square root. Square root of x squared is x, square root of 9 is 3. Okay, so there's the, uh, uh, there, there's an example. So let's take a look at, I mean, there's a, there's what it is. Let's take a look at an example here. Example 1, factoring the difference of two squares. Okay, so x squared minus 25. Well, that's going to equal the square root of the first term is x, so x and x, plus and minus. The square root of 25 is 5, so 5 and 5. That's it. 4z squared minus 1. Now remember, 1 is a perfect square. It's 1 times 1. 4 is also a perfect square, and z squared is a perfect square. So in order for a term to be a perfect square, every factor in there has to be a perfect square. Okay. So the square root of 4z squared then would be 2z, so 2z and 2z, plus and minus, the square root of 1 is just 1. Okay, so there's your examples for um, factoring the difference of two squares. Here's an example. I'm not like a big fan of a, a, an example like this because we want to use special uh, product pattern to evaluate 54 squared minus 48 squared. I mean, in like, in real, I mean, it doesn't come up very often. But again, this is just 54 plus 48 and 54 minus 48. All right, those are the square roots of those expressions. And then 54 plus 48 is going to be 8 and 4 is 12, uh, 102. And then 54 minus 48 is going to be 6. So the answer is 612. And again, it's just kind of a weird, funky, wonky, special type of math problem. Next, we've got what's called the perfect square trinomial. Now, to check out what is a perfect square trinomial, this is the result when we when we squared a binomial, that was either a sum or a difference. How do we know if something is a perfect square, a uh, perfect square trinomial? Well, let's take a look. First of all, uh, let's examine that phrase, perfect square trinomial. It's a trinomial, such as x squared, 6x, and 9. Three terms. What do you mean perfect square? It's the result of a binomial being squared, right? It's the result of a binomial being squared. So the question is, how do we recognize this and how do we get work backwards? Okay, so I'm going to re just recreate this work up here as I talk. How do we know this is a perfect square? The first, there's two perfect squares in, in it. And usually if it's in standard form, it's going to be the first term and the last term. And the last term, of course, has to be positive because that's a perfect square. Positive 9, positive x squared. Okay. We have to check the middle term. It's the square root of the first term, the square root of the last term, multiplied together, and then 
doubled. If it checks with the middle term, it's a perfect square trinomial. Now, how do you factor it? Oops, I don't need both of those. If it's a perfect square trinomial, it's going to be the square root of the first term. This will be the sign of the binomial. Then the square root of the last term, the whole thing squared. When I say first term and last term, I'm talking about the perfect square terms in the trinomial. And again, they should be first and last if they are in standard uh, form. Okay, and in this example down here, it's the same as the first one, except we have a minus here. So this one, square root of the first term, minus the square root of the last term, all thing squared. Okay, so let's take a look at an example here, uh, factoring perfect square trinomials, n squared plus eight, n plus 16. Is this a perfect square? The square root of n squared is a perfect square. 16 is a perfect square. The square root of n squared is n. The square root of 16 is four. Four n doubles eight n. So this is a perfect square trinomial. So this is work out to be n plus four quantity squared. Uh, for four x squared minus 12 x plus four, the um, square root here is two x. The square root here is uh, three. 2x times 3 is 6x, doubled is 12x. So this is also a perfect square trinomial. So this factors to 2x minus 3 quantity squared. That's it. Pretty straightforward on this one. And now finally, solving a polynomial equation. Solving a polynomial equation means we're going to factor, we're going to use factoring and the zero product property in order to do this. Um, this is a perfect square trinomial. The square root, this uh, x squared is, the square root is x. For 1 ninth, the square root is 1 third. 1 third times x is 1 third x. And then doubled would be 2 thirds x. So this is a perfect square trinomial. Okay, so I'm gonna use special products to do this, special product shortcut x plus one third quantity squared equals zero. I've only got really one factor here. So x plus one third equals zero. x equals negative one third. And in this case, being a special, uh, being a trinomial square, we're only going to have one solution for this particular problem. Okay, that's it for your notes. I'll see you in class when we uh, talk about this one. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.